Hey, what's up everyone? This is DSDC with a leveling guide today. In this guide, I'm going to tell you guys how to level a pet from 1 to 25 within 10 minutes. And I'm here with one of my friends, the Easy Alliance, who's also a YouTuber who does gold guides. Mainly the same ones I do, but he tries to remake them and stuff. But he also has some of his own, which are kind of decent, I would say. He's still learning. He's new to it. I'm trying to help him out. But... Uh, here's the easy alliance. If you want to say anything, go ahead. Hello. That's all you got to say. I was yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, that is <laughs> completely random. <laughs> but anyways, you guys can check out his guides on the easy alliance game that gaming something. What was it? It's just the easy alliance gaming. Alright, the easy alliance game. Yeah, he's like 33 subs. Help him out some. He goes to me. Anyways, let's get to the guide. Um, I'm using two Anubis idols for this, and I'm gonna power level my little bombling pet. There's a toy you, toy you wanna get from pet battling achievement points, something like that. But you get this hat. It increases your pet experience by 10%. You wanna have that on while you do this. Mainly while you do these pet battles, you're gonna be facing probably about three legendary pets so it's not an easy task you can get the numerous idols so about three to four thousand and like 86 percent of the realms anyways let's get started so i got my hat on um, looks like the first one up is a creature pet i'm gonna do my little sandstorm sandstorm reduces 74 damage taken in for 5 rounds. Now I'm just gonna knock him back using this a couple times. Now, since I have that up sandstorm and that reduces 74, 74 damage, his pet looks to do 95 points every round. So that means I can switch to this one and not instantly die. See, I'm completely blocking every attack he's doing and I'm level 1 just because of that spell. You want to hit the guy one time? Nah, the fucker healed himself. Hit him one more time just to be safe. Kinda OP that he's not dying. But yeah, you wanna... I'm gonna switch to this guy. And this made me do the sandstorm again. But yeah, they, um, they use the alliance. Do you have any new gold guides they're gonna be doing soon? Um, I'm actually making a molten core one probably either tonight or tomorrow morning. What savage gold you can make while doing that? Like per hour? It's gonna be anywhere. Well, it's a raid, so you can only run it once, but, um,. But what, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go and just farm the uh, dark iron ore that drops in there, and then um, you mainly need to have mining and enchanting to make it a uh, pretty efficient guide. So, but if you have both of those, it's anywhere from four to six k gold every time you do it. Seems kind of good. You can do that on yeah. multiple tunes too. Yep. So four to six thousand. No matter how much you can make. With 11 tunes, and you only have to be level like 80 to do that, right? You could just be anything above what you could solo level 60 right on, so anything like that. I've been on level 70. Hmm. Looks like this pet is causing me some trouble. He doesn't want to die. But yeah, you guys seeing this? Yeah, it looks like you got the wrong one in the first one too. I can't kill the f I can't kill an insect. Can you look at that? <laughs> Alright, look at that. I took no damage on any of my pets. Eating my level one kicked his white ass. His red ass, actually. Okay, now this is gonna be a big power to the face probably. Look at this, look at this. It's gonna be like a huge pump to the face. Boom. That kinda sucked. Okay. Boom. Uh, there's only like four on it. I'm gonna do my little sandstorm. He has damage increase, so that's not really good news for me. 
but I get rid of his lightning storm, so... Plus I have another idol, so I'm, I should be all good in the gold. <sighs> Looks like one, there goes one of my idols. That's one down. It's probably going to do his lightning storm in a second. Bet you five dollars. Oh fuck, I was on. Okay, I lost five dollars. Okay. Okay. Hey, uh. Uh, yeah, yeah. Ah, yeah. oh, shit. Alright, now, see how this guy just went underneath the ground? Do you want to use your, see, um, your last talent now? It completely blocks that entire attack. So, now you can just continue powering this guy down. Now notice my pet is level 1, I'm not trying to trick you guys or anything. Looks like he has 9.85 left. So, um, easy alliance, any comments you want to make? About um, no, considering I don't do any fucking pet battling, but... I don't do any at all. Yeah, like, I don't know. Do you have any tips you could give them on, like, buying and reselling or anything? Well, considering you taught me, I think you'd be a professional at that shit. <laughs> You're well, kind of the teacher. Well, basically, you guys watching, I usually make about 100 to 200,000 a day. Um, about 50 to 60,000 of that comes from pet battling, as crazy as that sounds, I get paid for doing Pokemon, but I make about you know, 40, 50,000, and that pet went from level 1 to 17 in one battle. That was one quest. Now that means all I need to do is go to the next guy, who's you know, across the map, probably. Yeah, yeah, where's the next one at? Next one is on this mountain, right there. Yeah, that's that one. You just do that one, and you know, it only takes about two to three of these, and you should be level 25. But this is probably the best efficient way of, you know, leveling your pet to 25. Now, for those people who don't have a level 25, aka, uh, the lion, this guy is a friend of mine, he doesn't have a level 25 pet, and he wants to figure out how to level them. Well, the best way to do it is doing the pet battle quests, which are located around every continent, every map. You just go to that little paw on your map, like, um... Wait, can I add something? There's a paw there. Yeah, go ahead. So, the reason why is because there's a quest in... So when you get your garrison, there's obviously the pet, I don't know how to say the word, the pet place. And in the pet place, you get this quest, and in the and from that quest you get a free level 25. So from that, then you can get 25s and it's a lot easier to level up. But I decided to pet that level 25, and I don't have anything near that. So if you only have 125 and you do that, then you're stuck with the lowest level, the, the highest level that you have other than that. So you can't go and buy a level 25 pet, thinking that... It'll help you level up if you only have level 1 pets. Yeah, he's right about that. Basically, what you want to do is... Uh, well, level 1, you want to go to like all these little paws in your map. You just want to beat the pet battle dude using your pets. And you, and you said gang about 1 to 3 levels every time you do it. But that's the best efficient way of leveling your pets. Um, once you get to level 25, you can power level them like I just did. I forgot something also. Um, right now, you can see that there's your battle pet experience is gained by uh, increased by 200 percent because we are currently in a pet battle bonus. So watch out for those. All right, give me a second. But yeah, if this helped you guys out, uh, leave me a like, go ahead and subscribe, and I have more videos coming, gold guides, sort of the easy alliance. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you next time.